What's going on Giants fans coming at you with another New York Giants video now I know it's very dark right now uh, It's nighttime obviously and I'm in my car so I can't really um, go anywhere else right now So I decided to come in my car and film this quick video so Obviously the Giants are on our bye week It's been a, you know it's been a few days since I made a video I've decided to take a small break uh, from making vids Obviously it's the bye week so I decided to take a little you know a little bit of a break from making videos But I will be back to live streaming very soon uh, I might do the Thursday night football game next week. I actually might do the Giants game as they play the Cincinnati Bengals uh, You know obviously next week. That's probably the next live stream. I'll do Or maybe I'll do a hangout maybe at some point in the middle of the week But I don't plan on doing a live stream this weekend. I've been very busy so I can't uh, do a live stream uh, I couldn't do a live stream today. So uh, but anyway, I wanted to talk about the New York Giants and their chances on winning the NFC least uh, the Giants are at three and seven they're at their bye week and the Eagles lost to the Browns, and so the Eagles now dropped down to 3-6-1. That's a really bad team down there in Philadelphia. Carson Wentz had a pretty terrible game. Uh, in my opinion, Daniel Jones is the best quarterback in the NFC East, and, um, you know, you talked to me three weeks ago, I would say Carson Wentz, I'd say Dak Prescott is the best quarterback in this division, but quarterbacks for this year, I would say Daniel Jones is the best quarterback in this division, and, I um, mean, you know, if he continues to keep it up, if he continues to, you know, stop turning the ball over, I think he can be a very good quarterback. I really do. And uh, anyway, that's off topic. The Eagles lost. The Eagles are now 3-6-1. and one. That's a really bad team down there in Philadelphia. I don't see them winning uh, many more games this season. They, the schedule just gets tougher and tougher throughout the season. So I really do see, see this Giants team winning this division. I think they're beating the Bengals next week. Obviously, I think we all know the news that Joe Burrow is now out for the season. So this definitely helps the Giants. Uh, we'll be facing the Bengals backup. I think we could have still beat the Bengals, even if Joe Burrow was there. So, But anyway, Joe Burrow is not going to be playing. The Giants are going to beat the Bengals next week. Uh, without Joe Burrow, the Bengals are pretty much screwed. So I see the Giants probably blow them out next week, and the Giants move up to 4-7. and seven. Uh, Washington did uh, win today, so now that we're, that we're actually tied with them, and if the Cowboys hang on to their lead against the Vikings, it'll be a three-way tie for second place in the division. So, you know, the Giants very well could lose this division. I, don't, I, don't, I think the Giants are the best team in this division, but they still have a chance of definitely losing this division. So, Giants got to beat the Bengals next week, got to beat up on a bad team, and then come out, you know, Try to you know try to beat the uh, Seahawks. Um, I wouldn't say they're unbeatable. I think the Ravens are a very beatable team for the Giants. The Ravens have been really struggling this year, so I think the Giants can definitely beat them. Seahawks, not too sure, but uh, the Ravens are beatable. The Cardinals are beatable. The Browns are very beatable, and you know we have Dallas Week 17. So the Giants could go on a big winning streak here. I think maybe really besides the Seahawks game, I could see the Giants having a chance to win. All of those other games. I really do. Um, it's a really tough stretch, but again, the Giants are a, a much improved football team. I think they're going to win at least three three of the final six games um, of the season. I really do believe that. This is a very, very competitive Giants team, and I see them coming out and... Um, you know, be beating up on the Bengals. The Bengals are really bad. Even with Joe Burrow, the Bengals are a very bad football team. I say we beat them. I don't see the Eagles winning more than five games. I really don't. I think six games is enough to win this division. And I think that's what the Giants will get. I think they're going to beat the Eagles. I think they're going to beat the Browns. And I think they're going to beat the Cowboys. Hell, I think they can beat the Ravens. I really do see the Giants winning seven games this year. I can I can definitely see that happening. I can, I can see the Giants winning seven. Uh, eight, I feel like that's a little bit of a stretch. But I think six or seven wins, I think that's what the Giants finish with. And uh, even even though that's not a great record, I didn't expect much from this Giants team coming into the season. I definitely did not expect the Giants to win this division. So if the Giants can come out, you know, win some games, win the division, um, I think this Giants team's going to the playoffs. I really do. I don't see the Eagles winning much games for the rest of the season. I don't see Dallas beating the Vikings. I still think the Vikings are going to win this football game. I don't see Dallas uh, winning this game, you know, winning the game tonight. I don't see really Dallas winning a game for the rest of the season. I think they're terrible, um, especially without Dak Prescott. Washington. They played a bad team. I think that was definitely kind of a lucky win. I still don't think Washington is very good. We beat them twice. I don't think they're winning the division. I don't think Dallas is winning the division. I definitely do not see the Eagles winning the division. I, you, I'm calling it right now. This is, what, it's week 11? This is five weeks before the season comes to a close. The New York Giants will win the NFC East, and I'm calling it. I think the Giants, we will see Daniel Jones and the New York Giants, Joe Judge, play, host a playoff game. In the playoffs. I really do believe that. I think this Giants team can make the playoffs. I want to hear your thoughts on the Giants' chances on winning the NFC least down in the comments below. What are your thoughts on 
Washington's game today, do you think the Cowboys will beat the Vikings or vice versa? What do you think is going to happen with the Eagles? Do you think that team is completely horrible? Because I personally do. I think Carson Wentz is, is not a good quarterback. I really don't. I don't think he's very good. I don't think the Eagles are a good team. I think they're trending in the wrong direction. I could definitely see Jalen Hurts, you know, coming in, you know, stepping in, being the Eagles quarterback because Carson Wentz has been god awful for the Eagles this year. Daniel Jones is the best quarterback in this division, and the New York Giants are definitely the best team in the NFC least. All right, guys. So that's going to do for this one. Love to. You know, love to hear your thoughts on the Giants. Do you think they are going to win the NFC East? Love to hear your, you know, your thoughts down in the comments below. The Giants and the Bengals game is next week. Def definitely pumped up for that. And uh, let's go Vikings. Let's hope the Cowboys lose. Giants can have, you know, a, a larger lead in the division, I guess. And uh, yeah, let's win this division, guys. That's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you guys next time. Let's go Giants.